knock. Who's there? I see. I see who? I see you. I'm so glad you're here today. My name is Sarah and I'm a librarian at the Toledo Lucas County Public Library. And today, I would like to show you some fun things we can do with ice. Brr, it's cold. We are going to do some experimenting. Do you know what that means, experiment? It's kind of a long science word, but basically it means to test something to find something out. So a chef might do an experiment with different, different kinds of ingredients to see what tastes good. An athlete might do experiments to see the best way to dribble or the best kind of ball to catch and that will help them do better at the sport. And then um, scientists do experiments all the time to try and make medicines and um, different things to make us feel better. You even do experiments every day. Every time you try something to see if it will work, you're doing an experiment and being a scientist. Isn't that cool? We're all scientists. So today we are going to do some experiments with ice. Who knows what ice is? I bet you all probably do. Ice is made out of water. Ice is the solid form of water. Matter has different forms or different states, which are like gas. So when you're in the shower and the water is all steamy, that's water in its, its gas form. Water, just water to drink, is in its liquid form. But once the ice reaches 32, the, once the water reaches 32 degrees, brr, it becomes solid. And that is when it's ice. Now what do you think happens if ice, is ice at 32 degrees or less, what happens if you warm it up? it becomes water again. So we, and that process is called melting. So we are going to do some experiments and see if we can melt the ice and see what might be the best at melting ice. Do you have any guesses? We are going to try hot water, cold water, just the air, glitter, salt, and sugar. You could try all sorts of different things to see what might melt your eyes. Let's see. Here's some salt. We're going to put a little bit of salt on this ice. Here's some sugar. It's colored orange. Whoops, there's some sugar. Let's see. We're going to try some glitter. This is red glitter. Red glitter, what do you think? It's sparkly. Um, and this is hot water. I heated it up before, so we're going to put some hot water on this one. And whew, it is hot. And then this is cold water. So we'll put some cold water on this one. Cold water. Now this one we're just going to leave in the air and see what happens. Which one do you think will melt first or fastest? We're gonna put this aside and do some other things with ice and we'll check back on that in a little bit. All right, let's try a different experiment with ice. In this experiment, we're going to take some ice that I made by putting a bunch of baking, baking soda into some water into a muffin tin and then I froze it overnight and I made these nice little pods of frozen baking soda water. Now we are going to see what happens when you drip different things 
onto the frozen baking soda. We're going to try what happens when you drip water, what happens when you drip chocolate syrup, and what happens when you drip vinegar. Some of you who have made volcano experiments with baking soda and vinegar might have an idea of what might happen. So, let's see. First, we're going to try, gotta make sure it's not the vinegar. This one is the water. So I'm going to take my little um, dropper. And for this volcano, let's drop some water and see what happens. Drip, 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 drip. Hmm, what do you think? Do you see anything happening? Over here, it's melting a little bit where the water drips off. Hmm. All right. Well, that wasn't quite so interesting. Now let's see what happens if you drip some chocolate syrup. Let's see. Oh, um, hmm. What do you think? Does that look good? It would taste terrible. Are there, is there much of a reaction? The chocolate syrup sort of spreads out across the uh, baking soda ice, but other than that, I don't see much of a reaction. Hmm. What if we try vinegar? Let's see. Here's the baking soda. This is a glass of, glass of vinegar. What's going to happen? Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. What do you think? I'm seeing some fizzing. Can you see that? See over here where it's bubbling? That made a reaction. It's a chemical reaction and it happens when the vinegar's acetic acid reacts with the baking soda's sodium bicarbonate and it forms um, carbon dioxide uh, or carbonic acid, and the carbonic acid releases carbon dioxide, and that's what makes the bubbles. Basically, the things that make up the vinegar mix with the things that make up the baking soda, and they create the bubbles. They turn into something different. Let's see if we can make a bunch of bubbles. Let's try some different things. Let's see um, what happens if we do these. Hmm. Those I added color to. Here, let's try. Yeah. Can you see the bubbles? Oh, that one got a lot of bubbles. Let's see. All right, 
It's been about 10 minutes and we're checking on our experiment. So this piece of ice just had air and it's melted a little. This one had cold water and it's melted quite a bit. This one, I think it's melted more than the one that just has the air. Now the one with hot water has melted quite a bit. Um, the sugar one, hmm, it's melted some, but I don't think it's melted as much as this one with the salt. Look, there's a hole. See how it's dipped down? It's a whole indention. It's all indented in there. That's why they use salt on the roads to melt the ice. Because it does a pretty good job of melting ice. And the glitter, hmm, I don't think the glitter did any better job than the air, really. What do you think? We'll check it again in a little while. All right, this experiment is about how you can stick ice best together. Now, if we were outside and the air temperature wasn't melting this ice, it would be a little easier to figure out. But um, I'm going to make a little tower here. And it's a green tower. Uh-oh. It's spilling over. It's not, they're not sticking together. Do you see how that is? They're just falling right apart. But let's see what happens if we add a little bit of water. First to our base. All right, now we take this ice cube, stick it, I can't, oop, it's sticking, it's sticking. The water acted like a glue, so we'll do that, and let's try a blue one on top. Let's see, what happened? is the water that's next to the ice drops in temperature while the ice next to the water rises in temperature and then they mix together and they freeze a little bit. Look at that, they froze together. All right, let's try a red one. So this could be fun, a fun project outside if you had um, some ice cubes and a spray bottle of water and you could see how tall you might make your structure. Um, another way you could um, try to glue the sculptures together is by using colored salt. That would make it pretty and it would melt in interesting patterns. So, I have some blue salt here. Let's try an orange cube. And put some blue salt. Look at that, isn't that pretty?
Well, here's my finished ice sculpture. I bet you could make a great ice sculpture. Now, when you do science, sometimes things don't go exactly like you want them to or like you think they're going to. So, like today, when I tried to stick these together, they didn't stick as well as they do when you do this experiment outside where the air is freezing cold. Now, in the summertime, the ice might melt into a big puddle before you even had a chance to build any kind of ice sculpture. Um, and then when we did the baking soda volcanoes, they didn't work as well as I've seen them work other times. Maybe your baking soda volcanoes will work better than mine did. You just have to try different things and that's experimenting and that's how we learn. We can, um, sometimes we don't do it, we, it doesn't work exactly like we want it to, but that's okay, that's how we learn. All right, well, let's check back on our experiment here with what melts water best. The hot water, let's see. Here's that size of ice, the ice. The cold water, what do you think? Did the hot water melt a little bit more than the cold water? What about the air, did it melt less? It looks a little bigger. Let's try and see what the sugar did. Hmm, whoops. Doesn't look like the sugar did too much, but it's a little bit speckly. So it did melt a little bit. And then the glitter, although it's beautiful, it didn't do too much to melt the ice. But what do you think? Look at that. It's kind of cool. It's forming some crystals on the side. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put these back in and I'll check on them later and see what happens after a few hours. And this is what it looks like at four and a half hours. Thanks for joining me today. I had fun with the ice volcanoes and experimenting with melting ice and making ice sculptures and playing with salt and water and seeing what would happen. I hope you had fun too. What kind of ice experience, experiments might you do at home? Let us know in the comments, we'd love to hear. Or come visit us at the library. I'd love to find you some books about ice and science and experimenting. Just come to the library. We'd love to have you. Have an ice day.